Okay, so my name is um, Arnie Burkov. I'm president of the Public and Private Workers of Canada. We're basically a BC-based union um, representing mostly forest workers, but we also have a college and some other plants down the lower mainland. So basically we represent pulp mill workers and some sawmill workers. Um, so why, why am I in, in Ottawa working with Unifor? Well, obviously the softwood lumber um, dispute, if you want to call it a dispute, is certainly posing serious, serious um, challenges. And one thing that I've always said, challenges for the forest industry, but the people that pay the price ultimately when these mills go down, and you know, I certainly lost my job at one point in my career and had to fight to get it back, is it's generally the, the working people that get hurt. Um, the, the idea that the Americans are going to put 35%, uh, 25 whatever tariff on our lumber and um, it obviously could have devastating effects on the industry. So um, I'm really thankful to Unifor for the lobbying efforts that we were putting together this week. Um, hopefully we'll be successful in having the politicians understand our concerns and um, I, guess, I guess I look at it two ways. I've done a lot of negotiations in my life. Um, would I, if I had the opportunity to, to sit at a negotiating table, I certainly think that, that we need to put, um, put a, a hard stance against what the Americans are trying to do to us. But, but we also need to negotiate with our own government. And that means putting in measures that would protect or at least um, help to soften the blow for, for um, our members, uniform members and PPWC members across the country that could get hurt by, by the impact of these tariffs. So it's kind of you, you hope for, for the best but prepare for the worst. Um, so I, I, think, I think hopefully this week that, that the politicians listen to what we have to say and ultimately um, we find a resolution to this. But if we don't, if we don't, we have to be prepared for the fallout. And again, that, that's not just with the American government. That means that this Liberal government needs to listen to, uh, to the concerns of the working people and the things that we brought forward to them and put together measures that will mitigate the impact as much as they can on the communities that are affected by, by any tariff that the Americans put on, on the lumber.